Hey guys, alright, here it is, my latest uh, toy, very exciting, I've always wanted one of these, and uh, I've, you know, when I say not really had the use, like once a year, if I'm lucky, kind of thing, but more recently, um, I've had jobs that it would have been handy to have, uh, and especially one that I've got going, uh, that uh, I should probably do a video for you guys as well, I think I will, um, but I'm, I'm sort of halfway through diagnosing it, but we can play catch up. And um, yeah, it is a, uh, a, a, a EEPROM reader writer from uh, the, it's the XGECU uh, brand uh, of uh, writer. It's the TL8662 plus. So uh, let's crack it open, make sure everything's in the box and uh, plug it in see what happens and here it is the uh, XGCU TL8662 plus for uh, SPI flash NAND EEPROM uh, EEPROM rather MCU AVR etc 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 and a bunch of clips and uh, attachments and bits and pieces for different chips and uh, hopefully this is the legit version. There's, there is, I am aware, a bunch of uh, clones out there, but um, this crowd says that they are the legit uh, supplier. We are authorized distributor of etc. etc. So <laughs> instead of buying one of the other ones, I found another video, someone else who said they found one on eBay um, and they were pretty confident it was the right one. It uh, did work. With the software, so um, and it's it's this one with the uh, dark color socket, not the green socket that the earlier versions had, and that a lot of the ones on say AliExpress, especially, uh, are claiming to be the eight six eight uh, eight six six two plus. But uh, no, this one's got the dark socket, so hopefully that's a telltale sign. I know there's other signs out there as well as to the case molding quality and so on. But uh, this should be it, and uh, it, it does a whole range of, uh, of various chips. It doesn't have the higher voltage for programming the old style of uh, EEPROMs, um, but uh, that's fine. Um, what, what I got it for is uh, mainly because I have uh, some NAND flash that I have to deal with. So not too worried about the really old stuff I may never come across anything I need to do with that so let's cut in and uh, see what we have it's a fairly well packaged it's squishy so it's got good padding um, and certainly I'd imagine is oversized for what's in the uh, box Okay, so we have one uh, oh, good wad of bubble wrap. We have one uh, IC remover. Good for the old uh, square um, PLCC uh, chips. One uh, USB cable. One free gift. <laughs> Happy day. What is this? It's like a little pouch. Let's have a nosy. I wonder if it's a scented pouch. It doesn't look very big. Not sure you could store a lot in it. Good luck. Well, let's see. Can I open it? Is it just a lucky charm? It's, 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 um, it's, uh, no, <laughs> it's tied shut. I don't think I'll worry about trying to untie, untie that knot at the moment. Maybe I'll wear it around my neck. Okay. One official TL8662 Plus. Interesting that they're still running with the, uh, image of the unit with the, uh, green ZIF socket. So far, so good. Anyone can print uh, numbers and letters on boxes. TL866 on the sticker in the lid. 
TL866A further down. Uh, okay, all right. Let's hope it's uh, not. Here's the unit itself. No, she's got the black socket, so cross fingers, we're on a winner. TL8662 Plus. Now, I've not had a lot to do with the ZIF sockets, but uh, if you're wondering on quality, this one does feel nice and solid. It takes a bit of force to pop it open. It's not loose, not flopping around, so feels like they've used a good unit there. It's the A-R-I-E-S brand of socket, if anyone knows of that brand. Now it has a uh, ICSP uh, header, I believe, there. One official card. Uh -huh. And all of our fittings and bits and pieces. So what else is in the box? quite weighty. We have uh, some PLCC sockets. We have our ICSP connection. We have a clamp for uh, attaching directly to uh, eight pin uh, dip packages. I wonder if it'll work on uh, L or SO8s or something. We'll have to find out. And a bunch of uh, surface mount. I see sockets. So I've not used these before either. I guess uh, it involves uh, what would that involve? Okay, so you uh, push push down on the sides and it opens the pins up to allow insertion of the IC. Cool, nice and easy. So we've got those. Um, got another one hiding under here. What's that? Just a board for soldering the IC directly to. And a uh, bunch of others. Okay. Got polystyrene on each end. Oh, there's a whole bunch of other cards in here. So the uh, reason I bought this is I have a uh, uh, an uh, Autel branded uh, Maxisys uh, OBD2 vehicle scan tool, and uh, what model is that one? Anyway, it comes with a um, a wireless device that you connect to the vehicle's OBD2 socket. And um, and then you connect the tablet to that and communicate with the vehicle for diagnostic purposes. Now, the wireless dongle, so to speak, has stopped working. It won't boot unless the uh, NAND flash chip is frozen. You've got to hit with a freeze spray and then it boots. So what I'm hoping to do is r under under frozen conditions, read out the contents of it and write it to a good chip. And here is the socket that I need to do it with. This is for a TSOP 3240 or 48 pin device. And uh, yes, that should work really well. Now this connects to another board 
which has the pins to connect to the uh, programmer. So like that, little bits of um, polystyrene everywhere. There's plugs in together and cross your fingers it will actually do something useful. It'll probably come down to the software more than anything else without using the microscope. Those pins along there so densely packed um, you want to be careful handling this that's for sure because once they get bent and start ramming into each other I don't think they'd be very easily recovered. So the software has to be downloaded from their website uh, autoelectric.cn and uh, English version um, and uh, I have done that so I will now install and see if it detects the unit correctly. Set up. Install to there sounds good. Uh, what? Okay we'll see what happens. <laughs> Do not have sufficient privileges. Rubbish! Let's uh, run it and see what happens. And there it is. So now we need to plug in, I guess, and uh, see if it finds it. Down the bottom there we've got hardware interface version, no device. So keep your eye on the bottom of the screen there and plugging it in. It beeped and it's come up with the 8662 Plus. Now all I need is a chip. Hmm, I should have been more prepared. So what I've found is uh, this is an old JVC car radio. It has a little uh, flash chip down in there, which is a uh, Winbond uh, 3 volt 16 megabit uh, flash. Now, in the instructions for the programmer, it says that the uh, ICSP supply can only supply 120 milliamps. Now I've just done a quick measurement uh, from the positive to negative of the chip and it's 20 ohms uh, so it's going to exceed the 120 milliamps at 3 volts. So um, unfortunately I'm going to have to take it out of the circuit to test it. But if I was to go ahead it would be 150 milliamps. Now I don't know how fault tolerant this thing is um, so you know, I don't want to blow it up before I've actually used it for my purpose, so I'm going to play it safe and we'll uh, take the chip off, put it on one of these little adapter boards and give it a shot. Okay, I was going to use the solder board, uh, which I could just solder directly to, but I thought, yeah, I'll get use a zip socket because I've got one. And it's kind of cool. Um, at the bottom, there's a little plastic uh, piece, and if you just butt the chip hard up against there, you're guaranteed perfect alignment, so I guess that's what it's been uh, put in for. I think this thing's pretty auto-detecting as far as pins go, so I'm just going to stick it in that way. Pin 1's at this end anyway, so we'll see what happens. Right, so we're going with pin 1. Well, I mean, there's a mark on the case that says IC pin 1, face up this way, notch this way, etc, etc, so... Make sure that's lined up. And pop it down. Locked and loaded. So we're using the ZIF socket. If we look in the top right where the mouse is there, you can choose ZIF or ICSP. Um, of course you have to get the wiring the right way around for the ICSP apparently. So uh, we'll worry about that later if I ever need to use that. But uh, for now, ZIF socket. now. What do you do next? Select IC. I think it's got an auto detect feature. So, what's it? we'll click on device and we'll click on. Hmm. Search and select IC. I'll click that. So, got a whole bunch to choose from. Um, 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 this is a wind bond, so let's click on W for wind bond, and it is a wrong button. Do 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 do. 
WHQ16DV. Do we have that in the list? WH. No. WH. WH. What did I say it was? 16Q? Ah. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> W25Q16. W25Q16. Oh, there's a bunch of them, isn't there? Uh, DV. I want a coffee. Anyone else feel like a coffee? My brain's saying coffee. Okay. Uh, S O I C 8. Select. Okay. Uh, now what? Device. All right. Device read. Code memory ticked, status reg ticked. I bet that's short for register. And read. And the lights are flashing. Woohoo! Finished. So that's how long it takes to read a there, 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 16 megabit memory. Okay, so this is the contents of our JVC car stereo. I wonder how much it's actually read. Does it give me a like a file size? Or we'll just read the whole thing, blanks included, I guess. So it's read a full two two megabyte, sixteen megabit, so it's cool. Like, let's see if we can see any English if I scroll through here. Something like, I don't know, menu or something oh here we go oh <laughs> left right test mode mic test in progress finish search test bluetooth check <laughs> nice so i could just edit that to say green tooth and then write it back and then <laughs> and make someone laugh when it comes up on their screen or something uh cool cool i wonder if it's a straightforward i'm pretty sure it's straightforward is that so um <laughs> I'll change Bluetooth device not found to where are ya? <laughs> um, yeah, you could have a lot of fun, I suppose. Well, instead of changing anything, I'm just going to go and hit write. And we'll see if it'll write okay. Device. Program. Now, down the bottom left here, it says options arrays before. I guess that's default arrays arrays uh, chips so what I'll do actually I'll do an arrays and then I'll do a write that'd be interesting so if I go save save does that save this out as a bin file cool there we go I'll just chuck that in the same um, xg pro is there an image directory I'm going to use that uh, jbc file has been saved so now I can go device arrays 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 lights are flashing 1.7 seconds to arrays that's cool so there should be nothing on board I should have had one of these years ago I managed to kill a laptop once but <laughs> the firmware upgrade didn't go to plan <laughs> this would have been real handy to recover from Okay, so now if I read the chip, it's going to read as blank, I hope. Ha, <laughs> look at that. F, 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 F. Pay your respects to every memory location. Okay, so if I open, open, and open, that's not where I'm going. Do, 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 do. Image. Oh, ha! No, that's not the image. Images I was expecting. Oh, okay. I'll move that out of there. Uh, <laughs> that's program images. All right. Oh, we should have a look at those. Anyway, open. Uh, binary default. Code memory. Okay. Cool. Well, that looks good. All our code is back. Now we go device, 
program everything going oh it erased the chip first anyway I uh, should probably untick that I wonder what happens if you write to a chip before it's erased then it verifies it and it says successful cool and then if I go and go file clear and then read read again and just make sure it's all written back nah, too easy although that does have a separate chapter on NAND flash programming so hopefully so that's a quick look at the XGCU uh, TL866 uh, 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 2 plus model and um, I think uh, you could probably trust the uh, crowd on eBay but uh, from all of my searching at the time uh, on AliExpress I could not find it at all uh, that um, suggested to me it was a reliable uh, version uh, as I said the green socket seems to be the older version and some people are selling the older version re-stickered and some of them are selling uh, might have the right sticker on it with the name on it but it's uh, serial numbers are now being checked by the software as far as I understand and so it might just not work at all so uh, yeah thanks for watching and hopefully I'll have a, another ones up soon showing uh, real world use of such a device catch you later